Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Omer and I'm a doctor. My aim is to provide you knowledge which can improve and sometimes even save lives. This video links to my previous video about heart attacks. I would recommend watching that video first to learn all about heart attacks and then to be able to identify if you or someone around you is having a heart attack and potentially save a life. In this video, I will tell you two real life patient stories that I've had to deal with. The first story is about a young man who had used cocaine which resulted in him having a heart attack. And the second story is of a patient with a broken heart. Both of these are relatively rare but very interesting cases that I've come across. The first story is of a 20 year old man called Jake who stumbled into a &E whilst I was on a night shift. He was holding his chest, sweating, breathless and looked ghastly. He was very loud and foul mouthed, cursing and screaming at the staff members who were trying to help him. Hospital security was called for the safety of staff and other patients and so that the situation didn't get out of hand. We quickly did his observations and found that his heart rate was really fast. His ECG showed some ischemic changes meaning he possibly has had some heart damage. We checked his troponin levels through a blood test which were raised and this confirmed that he had some damage to his heart. On taking a history from Jake, he boastfully told me about his adventures. A few hours ago he had been snorting a ton of cocaine and taking part in inverted commas extracurricular activities. Soon after snorting the cocaine he experienced these symptoms. He had no family history of heart disease and no other medical problems. In this case where the history suggested an obvious cause for chest pain meaning cocaine we did not follow the traditional treatment protocol for ACS. Cocaine can damage the heart in different ways. It can cause sudden vasospasm of the coronary arteries which disrupts the blood flow to the heart, reducing the oxygen supply and this in turn causes pain and damage to the heart. A urinary drug test confirmed cocaine in his system. Jake was given 300 milligrams of aspirin and nitrate medication to dilate the coronary arteries and ease the vasospasm. This took effect quickly and his chest pain gradually eased. He was due to be admitted to the cardiology ward for observation, further investigations and management. However, as soon as the pain resolved, he discharged himself from a &E against medical advice. At the time, he had capacity to consent to his treatment and understood the risks of such an action. He was strongly advised to stay, however did not listen and self-discharged himself from hospital, yelling YOLO at the top of his lungs as he walked out. I was told a few days later that he represented with the same story and same presentation after snorting more cocaine. Again, he self-discharged against medical advice. Unfortunately, if he continues going on like this, he won't have too many years left to live. If you have enjoyed the content so far, then please consider subscribing to this channel so that I can have your support and know that you are benefiting from these videos. The next story is of a patient called Jackie who is a 40 year old woman with a broken heart syndrome also known as Takotsubo cardiomyopathy. Jackie attended a and &E by an ambulance with severe chest pain and shortness of breath. She had ECG changes showing a STEMI and was taken directly to the cath lab for an immediate coronary angiogram. Surprisingly, her angiogram was completely clear. She had no evidence of atherosclerotic disease or blockage which would explain the STEMI. This was very unusual. So here's what we learnt about Jackie. She had no previous risk factors for heart disease, did smoke and did regular exercise, had a healthy diet and had no family history of heart disease. Jackie did not have any other medical conditions. However, she very recently lost her husband in a car crash and was now left on her own to look after three young children. So you might be wondering, what could have caused this heart attack? An echocardiogram was done which showed that part of her heart, mainly the left ventricle, was not functioning properly. This is a classical presentation of a broken heart syndrome, also known as Takotsubo cardiomyopathy. Broken heart syndrome is a temporary heart condition that's often brought on by stressful situations and extreme emotions, which in Jackie's case was her recent husband suddenly dying in a car crash. You may also be interested to know that Debbie Reynolds died of a broken heart at the age of 84, just a day after the death of her daughter Carrie Fisher, who was a famous actress perhaps best known for her portrayal of Princess Leila in the movie franchise Star Wars. Carrie Fisher also died of a heart attack. Broken heart syndrome is thought to be caused by high levels of adrenaline hormone which is released during extremely stressful situations and this can cause damage to the heart. However, the exact cause is still unclear. 
In some movies, you may have noticed that a character is grabbing their chest and falling to the floor after hearing some really bad news. I'd guess they were likely experiencing broken heart syndrome. Thankfully, Jackie did not have any complications as a result of this. She was monitored for the next few days with some other investigations and was discharged home with a beta blocker and ACE inhibitor tablets which helped to control heart rate and blood pressure and hence reduce the strain the heart is put under. They also helped protect the heart and reduce the chances of further such events. Jackie would be followed up by a cardiologist and have further scans to ensure that she was improving. She would also be seen by the community cardiac specialist nurses and offered other support to help with the tragic bereavement process. So guys, these were the two cases that I found really interesting as they were quite rare and you don't see them very frequently. I hope that you have also found them interesting. I am a full-time doctor and my aim is to provide you with knowledge which can improve and sometimes even save lives. If you have enjoyed the content then please consider subscribing and hitting the notification button for more valuable knowledge. Also like and share the video with your family and friends so that they are aware of the symptoms and signs to look out for to identify a heart attack either in themselves or in someone that they may know. You may help save a life by passing them this information. If you have any suggestions for future videos then please leave a comment below. All the best guys, look after yourselves, stay healthy and remember, knowledge saves lives.